we saw a 12 year old with autism. He was born premature, 28 weeks, uh, was delivered C-section and spent quite a few months in the ICU. During development, his first 18 months were great in terms of met all milestones. Parents didn't notice any delay. Doctors didn't mention any delays, but right around 18 months at his checkup, he was no longer able to make eye contact. He was not responding to his name. He was humming. He had lost words that he had before. He was diagnosed with autism at about age three and a half, I believe. He had MRI imaging, and then he also had genetic testing, which were all normal. He attended special school, went to ABA therapy twice a week, OT twice a week, and speech therapy twice a week. And parents came from New York to see us and to see what Merck can do. When we look at these EEGs, we look at different areas of the brain. The top graph represents the front of the brain, the middle graph represents the middle of the brain, and the lower graph represents the back of the brain. So frontal, central, and posterior. When we look on the x-axis or that horizontal line, we're looking at those numbers and those are the frequencies. So optimally, the resting brainwave rhythm should be between eight to 13 hertz, and we call that alpha. In children with autism, we often see development of posterior alpha activity, but a lack of development in the central and frontal regions. That is not a diagnostic pattern, but it is a pattern that is commonly seen when we look, look at large groups of populations of children with autism. So this first image on August 7th, it shows in the red box that there is development of that posterior alpha. And you can see in the next EEG, which is taken two weeks later after treatment, we start to see some emergence of both central and frontal alpha activity. And so clinically, he was just in those first 10 days, mom noticed he was calmer. He was able to understand better. He was able to follow directions. He was starting to imitate where before he was more babbling or not attempting to say words. He actually said his aunt's name for the first time within those first 10 days. And then the patient completed a total of two weeks only. They just didn't have time to do complete treatment and then came back a year later. Even during that course of not getting treatment, the mom reported that um, over the past year, he'd been calmer. He was able to start greeting people, saying hello, developed uh, five new words, and he was able to start pointing and using some nonverbal communication and also able to use his communication pad, which was significant in, in regards to uh, being able to you know, actually express what he's thinking, which led to uh, less frustration and irritability.